this is Eddie. Today's video, we're going to be covering the Amazon Sidewalk and the Nodal new network cache uh, network for IoTs. If you guys don't know anything about the Amazon Sidewalk or the Nodal, they're basically like Helium. And if you don't know anything about Helium, they're all uh, trying to build a network for the IoTs, which is Internet of Things. Uh, the reason everybody have their eyes wide open on IOTs because we're expecting anywhere from 55 to 75 billion IOTs to be out there in the market by 2025 and that's why a company like Amazon is interested because they want to have a big piece of that pie. So Amazon, uh, I covered this two months ago when they said they can have the sidewalk and things have gone so fast and surprisingly, it's already rolled out in your devices. It's actually enabled already without you knowing. And that's what we're going to talk later, why it backfired on uh, on Amazon a little bit. So uh, let's talk about the Amazon Sidewalk white paper a little bit. Um, they What's, what's surprisingly uh, has happened is if you have any Echo or Alexa show or any of their devices, that's 2019 and newer, it's already enabled. So the technology has already been built since 2019. So all they've been doing is just fixing the, you know, the security. And that's why you can see on the white paper, the security is a big chunk of um, the white paper right here. So it's, it's almost half, more than half. So it was encryption, trusted device identities, device registration. So everything is all about security. So that's the you know the whole thing about this white paper. Now, do they have a reward system or mining? Of course, they do not. Uh, but the good concept that um, you know um, for IOTs, you're already it's already plugged in, so it's not like an additional cost on your side or any of that stuff. It's actually you to just your simple echo or ring is just doing the more one and providing. Uh, data transfers now they're limited to get to 500 megabytes per month so that's not that bad uh, that's using your internet so uh, now people have been turning their 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 enabling or disabling sorry the the the, um, the, the sidewalk uh, some of the reasons that I read some of them they were mad that there was no uh, they did not request the approval of the user which makes sense because at the end you're using my internet to do something without asking me so i cannot understand this point very well uh, especially that you don't even I'm, I'm sure that now you guys everyone will start check their own alexas to see if it's enabled or not in my case i'm in canada it's not it has not been rolled out or maybe my devices are 2018 so i'm not sure which one is true if you guys in canada and you have it enabled please update me in the comments i would be uh, grateful and but in the us it's already out so people were uh pissed because of that because they, they didn't request approval from the owner the second part they felt this is a security breach and they turned it off and the other thing is there's no incentive for them so they don't need it they just turn off so it did backfire a little bit but does that mean the end of course not this is amazon so you're gonna say okay what does this have to do with with helium well they're gonna build that network so imagine a house next to a house next to a house next to a house that means it can cover a town easily now from town to town, if there are no houses, that's what they don't have now. Because we don't know what's going on backstage. What are they developing on the new Echoes and the new Rings? Would they have antennas? Would they have uh, bigger uh, solutions to like have wider uh, coverage? So they might have. I'm not sure. This is something that uh, Amazon has not released uh, any anything regarding this subject. So, will they be working on this? Obviously, since they worked on this since 2019 and they already plugged in or installed all these devices inside our Alexas, and they never, you know, informed us about it. 
However, the, the thing about Amazon or the thing about the network of IoTs is who's gonna win more clients? So what you need is, so for example, Amazon already partnered up with Tile to take on Apple AirTags. So think of it. It's whoever is gonna use your network is what really matters. So whoever is gonna join more Helium, more companies that join Helium, that's the more profit you gain. The more companies that join Amazon, the more Amazon will profit and you know make more money. Now, we're talking about Amazon at the end. This is like they have the cash, they have the lobby, they have, they have everything. Like if you guys remember the, the the ring, if you guys don't know the ring, the you know front door camera, it was it was shown on uh, Shark Tank, and the guy was asking for I think one point five million dollars for ten or fifteen percent, and uh, no shark jumped on it. A few months later, he sold it for Amazon for one billion dollar. So we're talking about liquidity here. They cash, they have connections, they have everything. So and people will come to Amazon instead of the rest of the companies will have to make cut deals here and there. So it is a big thing. Can they grow this bigger and faster than anyone else? Of course they can. If if there's a solution uh, that they can purchase or they're developing, then there's nothing can stop them. They, they have the cash, they have the resources, they have everything. So I'm worried about Amazon because um, they could, you know, they can flip things around easily. Now, um, if you guys want me to, I'll, I'll put the link for the, you know, uh, the white paper for Amazon. And now let's talk about the noodle. When I heard about the noodle uh, a month ago, a month and a half ago, I wasn't interested because uh, it's using the Bluetooth. And Bluetooth, we know it goes to 50 meters, right? So if you guys don't know anything about the Noodle, you just download an app for free for iOS or for Android. And once you download it, you just enable it and then you just share the data and you mine just like Helium. So you can mine and make money. Now, why I wasn't interested, it's because I know Bluetooth has limitations. So especially like coverage wise, so it cannot go beyond 50 or 70 meters. So I was like, no, but I was like, since they're in the game, let me just read their white paper. When I read the white paper, there's something that got my attention. Well, uh, to be honest, the whole thing grabbed my attention, but my only struggle was how to overcome the limitations of Bluetooth until I read this part. Bluetooth 5.0 standard will open up more industrial use cases, allowing metering with an increased range of up to one kilometer. Now this, this is big. Another thing that I liked about the two-way communications for critical updates, the Noodle Network can provide two-way communications, uploading data from a remote device and also downloading data from the cloud to that device. And that's something interesting. I believe that uh, there's something about Amazon I forgot to mention here. Where's their white paper? Um, they can, oh no, it's, it's actually in the Noodle. So in the Noodle white paper, uh, you can it will allow to use more than the Bluetooth. So they, it can go to your 4G or 5G and send other stuff if you approve it. So there is some flexibility here and it's, I can see it like having having um, their own niche, uh, especially it has a reward system. So mining has proven that the Helium MXC and actually Helium and MXC, they just proved that uh, this, this is a very good incentive for people uh, to use. You guys, if you don't know, Helium deploys about two to three devices every minute. So that's how people are just going crazy. And that's why LP went crashed. And that's what, you know, a long AP, sorry. No, a long AP crashed. So the point is, at the end, whoever builds a reliable, 
secured, more coverage, network, at a better price than the rest is going to build, is going to win the big share. However, although that's true, and it's a valid comment, a valid statement, Amazon can play a different game. So, because we're talking about the, one of the biggest, it's not the biggest company in the world. So, in terms of retail, of course. So, if these guys um, are going to jump in, all in, they can shake the market. Now, also the noodle with the, you know, the two-way communication, uh, the ride sharing, the uh, all of these, they have some nice, cool tricks. The only problem would be, can like from city to city, you, you can't cover that. So that's a disadvantage. Can they develop things? Obviously, they can. Um, we never know how these companies will be in the future. They can have, I don't know, they can come up with new devices that has, you know, built-in Bluetooth and you can do five kilometers. I don't know. So anyways, the point here, these are two new networks that are coming in. Each one has its own advantage and disadvantage. Um, I don't know which one, to tell you the truth, is going to have more impact or have a better success um, in the future because each one is a little bit different in structure, different in you know the backgrounds. So what do you guys think? I'm, I'm just wondering, what do you guys, which one do you think? Do you think these two can shake Helium a little bit or MXC or they will just be on their small niche and just stay there? Uh, knowing Amazon, they, they, don't, they don't like to be small. They always go big. And like I said in the beginning, everyone is opening their eyes wide open for the IOTs. And Amazon, apparently, it had their eyes open since 2019, or maybe before that. Also, Helium, by the way, do you know that they got a, a, a seat from Google back in 2018? So we don't know what's Google actually doing behind the scenes. I did the research. There seems nothing in terms of a network. I know they funded Helium at one point, but are they going to do the same thing with Google Nest and Google whatever? Are they going to have the same system? I would be shocked if they don't enter this market. I would be totally shocked if they don't enter, 100%. But yeah, this is about it. Um, uh, like I said, they're two interesting projects. Each one has its own uh, things. I think this one is cool because zero money, Bluetooth, you make rewards, and that's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, um, till we uh, do an update on these two in a couple months, uh, things will be more clear if they show any threat onto Helium Network or MXC Network. As for now, we'll say goodbye and we'll see you in the next video.